Hey everybody, Pastor Jason Boggs here. If you've just seen my post, my wife and I unexpectedly had a uh, a need for uh, fueling up at the gas station. We didn't even realize that we were so low on gas. We'd just been praising God, spending time together, and, and uh, <laughs> we pulled off at a gas station somewhere in Virginia. Um, <laughs> and as I was there, the Holy Spirit said to me, this car that just pulled up, I want you to lead them to Jesus. I said, okay. So I waited till he got out of his car. And I said, hello, my name's Jason. And his name was Ivory. Now they spoke Spanish. He wasn't as good with English. So thankfully God gave me the ability to speak both. I gave him some Spanglish in the mighty name of Jesus. Te loya, gloria, hallelujah in Jesus name. And so I started telling him about the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ I said I said there was a man named Jesus he died on the cross for our sins and he rose again I said we all are sinners we all made mistakes I said and there's a price that had to be paid for that mistakes that is death at a minimum all the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and so as I, as I'm telling him this I the Lord gave me an analogy he said Tell him you're getting ready to pay for gas, right? I said, so you're getting ready to pump your gas, right? And he said, yeah. I said, what if you went in there and said, I need gas. I need I need $20 in gas, but you didn't give him the money. I said, you get no gas, right? He said, yeah. I said, okay. So let me tell you this. If you try to make it to heaven, but you don't have the payment to get inside the gates, you're not going. Amen. And I told him, I said, Jesus is the payment to heaven. He said, okay, I understand. I said, the Bible says if you would believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Come on, God, God, God bumps up and down my arms right now. Amen. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus that he died on the cross and that he rose again, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth uh, confession is made unto repentance. And I said, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Book of Romans chapter 10. Come on, somebody. Amen. And I, I walked him through that Roman road and we, we sat there with his wife and I led him to the Lord and he gave his heart to Jesus. Amen. I then gave him one of my ministry cards and said, look me up. I want to encourage you and help you grow in the gospel. Amen. As I was doing that, there was a lady that seen what I was doing. As a matter of fact, a guy came in because I was waving my arms. I talked with my hands a lot. He thought that I was mad and I was about to fight somebody. He didn't know I was about to box the devil in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I, I said, I said, no, nah, we're cool, man. I'm leading this guy to Jesus. And this lady steps out the car. She said, Jesus, I believe in Jesus. I said, glory to God. Me too. Amen. I got my come out in the name of Jesus shirt on. Come on, somebody. And, and as I was, as I was talking to her, she said, my husband needs Jesus. I said, well, he's going to get him today. Amen. And she walked inside and he was in the car. So I, I got done with ivory and, uh, and I, I went over to the car and I pecked on the window and he slowly rolled the window down. Amen. I said, I said, sir, do you know Jesus? He said, I, I know about Jesus. I said, that's good. You know, he, he, he died on the cross for your sins. He said, I know that. So I went through seeing his, his facts, see what he knew in the name of Jesus. I said, do you believe in Jesus? He said, yes, I believe in Jesus. Well, friends, I want to tell you, not everyone that believes in Jesus will make it to heaven. Amen. And so I said to him, I said, well, are you ready to give your life to Jesus? And he looked at me and he said, yes. And right there beside his car at the front lot of the store his wife's in a vehicle now I'm praying for him and he gave his heart to Jesus his wife said I just married him and I've been praying he'd come to church with me I've been, I've been praying he'd give his heart to Jesus one day and God sent me to the gas station how many of you having a hundred sheep would not leave the 99 behind to go after that one that has ran off. There were two that were gone, Ivory and Tom. And today they're added to the kingdom of God. Today God is radically changing their lives. Come on, I got to pray with them both and took pictures. I said, hey, I got to start taking pictures so people don't think I'm just tripping up at gas stations. Amen. Hallelujah. These spontaneous times, man. 
I'll tell you, it's harder to do that in your own hometown, man. Everywhere I go, when I travel the, the, the interstates and the streets, I always lead somebody to Jesus. But in my hometown, people don't want to receive me because they know me. They think they know me, but they need to know who Jesus is. Amen. Come on. Come on. Tell somebody about what God has done. Make sure you hit the share button like this in the mighty name of Jesus. If you haven't already, go ahead, follow our pastor page so you get more updates on what God is doing. You know, my goal with this is not to make me famous. I want to make Jesus famous. And I want everybody to know about the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if I could do that one person at a time, I don't care if my page grows by one person a year. If that's one person that we reach more or a year than we did, then I praise God for it. But can I tell you in the last day, it's grown by over 150 people. Can I get a witness? Come on, somebody. God is moving in a mighty way. In the in the last three weeks, over 18,900 people just in our statisticals have, have have watched in the last in the last three weeks what God has been doing. And I say to glory to God. Come on, to God be the glory. Great things he has done. If you will, I'd like for you to join with me in prayer over these these two wonderful people that they would not just not just have a, a outward expression of it, but they get an inward expression as well. And the Holy Spirit will continue to fill their lives. Most gracious and heavenly Father, God, we pray for Ivory and Lord, we pray for Tom, Lord, that you would touch their heart, Lord. You led me there, those two that were astray, God, those two sheep, lost sheep of of you, Jesus. Lord, I just thank you. For completely restoring their lives, Lord, restoring their marriages and setting them free, Father God. I thank you, Lord, even as they log on, if they take that card and log on, they will hear the testimony of what you've done for them and that they would grow and they'd get into a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church and never look back. And Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name, and all God's people joined in the chat box with a big amen. Come on.